All right, this is gonna be a quick little review of the Hager X, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. My apologies if I'm not. Uh, it's a little media console, or uh, it's an Android box for TV, if you will, and uh, just connects simply, very, very small box, uh, connects with HDMI to your TV, and then you can use the included remote control here to control it. Because it's more like a, a computer, I found it easier to hook up a mouse and keyboard. There's some USB ports here. See, right now I got it kind of just set up weird. It's just kind of sitting on my floor, but I have my keyboard and mouse there hooked up to that. And then there's the box. And then this is the, the interface you get when you first power it on. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm actually uh, one menu deep here. Let me see if I can back out of that. Yeah, so there we go. And yeah, uh, you get these little menu options here. Uh, the my app section is where I was. Let me go back in there. And this is like standard uh, Android apps, you know, for your television. Uh, that includes the, let me scroll down here, you know, calculator, you got Google, you got Netflix if you want. There's the Play Store if you want to go in and get more apps, and you can download certain apps for this device. But what seems to be the biggest draw for this uh, box is when you go into the HagerX Media Center here. Let me get into that. And... Within here, you have all these apps specifically for, and I'm not going to show it all because it'll take too long, but uh, you got pictures, videos, music, and there's settings and whatnot. But you can get these uh, video apps, and they will, from best I can tell, these apps will pick up uh, any TV show or sports or movie, uh, any kind of video program that is available on the internet as a stream and then it will start displaying or you start watching that video stream on this box and then on your TV. So um, as long as there's a stream for what you wanna watch uh, and it can pick it up and it's working, uh, you can play it. Now, I hesitate a little bit because what I found on this is a lot of amazing content out there for stuff you can watch, but it also seems like there's some stuff out there that you probably shouldn't be watching. Um, as far as current movies and regular TV shows and live sports. Um, so, you know, maybe I want to watch a soccer match over in England and it's okay to watch that. So there's a stream for it and you pick that up and you can watch a, an England soccer match without, you know, having to subscribe to any kind of channel to pick that up uh, on your local programming at home. Um, but, you know, there's current movies out here and current TV shows and almost live TV with some of these apps that uh, honestly I'm not sure uh, what the legality of that is of being able to pick these up if it's because it's being streamed from another country that somehow it's okay but it doesn't some of these don't feel like it so I'm not going to show a lot of that but I will just kind of go in and give you a glimpse like here is the uh, Zeus video app and you can see I can go in here and pick from uh, let's just say I'll, I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about when I go into here and show his movies and you'll see I think I click that Try one more time. Maybe I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, you know, and then I could pick from featured or most popular, uh, 2015. I'll go ahead and pick most popular. You can see it's a 4K box, so it would go and output in a 4K resolution. I don't have a 4K TV here, so there's no point in me talking really about that. Um, again, I think I clicked on that. Let me try one more time. There we go. Okay, so as you can see here, you know, Jurassic World and 21 Jump Street and The Avengers 2, these are movies that um, <laughs> aren't even out on uh, video or DVD as far as I can tell yet. And uh, if you click some of these, I'm, I'm not going to do it, but you'll get a list of servers that you can pick these up from. Um, and then you can actually start watching those. Now, I don't believe that that is, uh, in my book, I, don't, I think there's problems with that. I'm not sure that was... Uh, the intent of this of a box, the box is legal in itself because it is just providing access to streams. These apps are just providing access to streams. But when you watch the stream, I don't know whether or not that's actually uh, legal or legit to be able to watch uh, some of these streams. And it's not just 
the stuff out here. There's there's just regular content you can watch as well. It doesn't have to be a, a movie that was in the movie theaters or a television show that's on right now. There's some free uh, legal content out there that you can uh, take advantage of. You just got to go through all those apps and uh, figure out what's available. It does take a while to go through all this stuff, but uh, it does seem like a very interesting device to be able to entertain yourself with all kinds of content that's being streamed over the internet. It's fun sometimes just to go through and see what's available and what's not. Again, I don't want to concentrate too much on the fact that there's these movies out there, but there are these other apps and, uh, you know, some live sports you can pick up and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, but be careful with what you're watching on here and definitely check with somebody to make sure that uh, uh, what you're watching is legit. Um, some of the stuff seems a little bit sketchy on here, but some of the stuff seems very cool and very legit and very, uh, uh, very, um, what am I trying to say? It's, it's okay and it's, uh, it seems legal and uh, definitely uh, some cool content up there. So again, this is the, the Hager X uh, 4K Media TV Box or Android for TV.